Welcome to the introduction to the new website of ICMPD. In this video, I'm going to show you the key features of this new website and share some useful tips with you. Let's get started. When you first land on the new ICMPD website, you will notice that it looks very different from the old one. The main reason for this is that the new website is mobile optimized. This means that depending on your device, you will have a better user experience as the page will adapt to your screen size. A new standout feature is the interactive map. It allows you to see your activities at a glance. Scrolling down, you will then find the new section. Further down, you find some basic key data about ICMPD. And finally, a subscription to our newsletter. Do not forget to subscribe, by the way. From the start page, all in all, you can access all the areas of the website. At the top of the page, you find the main page functions. From here, you have the search, a share function, a login for the member states, and finally, the main navigation menu. The first main novelty of this page is the new search function. By entering a search term, at this stage I have two filter options to refine my search results. Let's try it with the word migration. Now here I can filter by content type or I can filter by topic. I can however also just look for the term without selecting any filter options. I will then get an overview of all the results throughout the page based on my search. From here I can still also filter by projects, by publications and news and I can further refine the search results with additional filters on my left side. You can then narrow down your results by topic, country, by year and by the state of the project, which means whether or not a project is currently ongoing or completed. Please note, you will always only be shown those options for which search results are actually currently available. Let us now take a look at the new menu navigation. On the left hand side you see the menu navigation points. The numbers and brackets indicate the number of subpages. On the right hand side you find a so-called meta menu covering everything that goes beyond our programmatic work. Let us now take a look at the navigation on individual pages. Once you are inside a page, your navigation moves to the left. By clicking on the plus, you will be able to see additional subpages. Again, you can also find all relevant information through the search function. Let us now move back to the menu and look at the map. The interactive map is very useful when you need to get a quick overview of ICMPD's activities in certain regions. The different filters make it easy to find what you're looking for. In addition, you can select to see all the member states and where we work. Once you find what you were looking for, you can go straight to the project pages and the area of your interest. You can also zoom in and zoom out of the map according to your needs.
From here, you can also go to the project page directly, as each project has its own individual project page. On every page, you will find some key data about the project, as well as additional information, like project documents and outputs, related projects, the project manager data, and some relevant project news. An overview of all projects can also be found via the navigation under Our Work – Projects. These were the main principles and functions of the new ICMPD website. Here are some final tips for best user experience. First of all, the browser. Use Google Chrome and adjust your screen size to your needs. On smaller screens, the page runs best at about 70% screen size. Second, search. Whatever it is that you're looking for, from project to author, use the search instead of the menu for fast results. And finally, do remember that you can access most functions through the ICMPT landing page. With this, we hope that you will enjoy the new ICMPD website. For questions and concerns, email to media at icmpd.org.